so recently, um, my daughter, my youngest daughter is 10, and she has uh, her cousin, my niece, is eight, Georgia. I think they're here. And recently, Georgia, my niece, came to stay a couple of days with us. And so one of the days particularly, I needed to run into Walgreens, and I brought them with me because that's just what fun Aunt Belinda does. And so I took them to Walgreens, and I needed to do a couple of things there that I knew would take maybe 10 minutes. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to try my best to make this fun for them. So I said to them, girls, you get $5 each, go have fun. Just go find whatever you can for $5. Now, with 8- and 10-year-old girls, that actually doesn't work that well. I think within like five minutes, they each had about $40 worth of things. (laughs) I was like... No, let's start over. So eventually I just moved them to the candy aisle. And I said, this is really where you're going to need to stay. Right here in the candy aisle. And so the candy aisle was filled top to bottom with candy. But the one candy my daughter wanted was cherry sours. What's the deal with cherry sours? Like there must have been a run on cherry sours. I only know like three people that eat cherry sours. And they're all in Todd's family, which is random. That's really random. But she wanted cherry sours. And so there was no cherry sours on the shelf at all. So I went and I asked the gentleman who worked there, can you go check the back? We need some cherry sours. So we waited. I'm sure he'd not had that request. And so we're waiting, waiting. He comes back. I'm sorry, ma'am, there's, there's no cherry sours. And I'm thinking, that's so random that I cannot get cherry sours. But okay, so she had to find something else. But it made me think, how many times... Are our shelves stocked enough that when people need something, they can take it? And they can take it. But if we aren't backstocking our inventory, if we aren't making sure that we are backstocking our inventory, eventually somebody is going to take the last thing from us. And when more people come, we will have nothing to give. And they will ask us, can I have some peace here? Can I, can I have some answers? Can I, can I be led in the direction that I need to go, and you're going to say, I've got nothing for you because I've not been backstocking at all. So my shelves are empty. And so they will have to be forced to look at the other options on the shelf for the ones that are stocked. We have to be people devoted to God in a way that we are continually backstocking See, backstocking happens in private. That's, you don't see when that happens. You only see it on the shelves. Are we being people who are making sure that our backstock is full? 